Here they are setting up. Josh oh boy. on your left. Jonathan on your right. Looks like uh, we're starting Gabe versus Kronos Protocol. Nice. So if you're if you're Gabe here, so uh, what protection do you think he's possibly running? Maybe a Sports Hopper? Or? Yeah, uh, with Criminal, I think Sports Hopper is the best you normally do. Maybe Plascrete, but I don't know if Kronos Protocol has gone Scorch or not. Yep. But yeah, Sports Hopper. I, honestly, I think with Criminal, it's just got to be smart play. Yeah, I think so too. I think you're right. Definitely the right call. Oh my gosh, Josh. They're both going to take a mulligan, it looks like. And Jonathan Mulligan. Not really happy with that. Yeah. hand. Interesting decks. Uh, we're seeing some peaks of it there as they shuffle through their cards. Definitely yeah. some uh, more unconventional uh, yeah. <laughs> choices. But who knows? It could be a very exciting match. It could be. And I think Josh is going to, I think uh, Jonathan's got to be really careful. You said you mentioned smart runs earlier, right? Mm. Jo Josh has got to be. Uh, sort of favorite, I think, because of the ability for this ID to just pick the uh, breakers. Absolutely. Right? Out of hand, that'd be nuts. Oh, out of criminal, that is such a, a bum deal when yeah. your only decoder or fractor goes in the bin. Hopefully, Jonathan is on paperclip. That might help against some of yeah. that damage. Hopefully. Uh, but who knows? Uh, Josh might not even have any barriers to speak of. Look at that. That's You know, I, I love that. The classic corp turn. Oh. Ice, ice hedge. Ice, ice baby. <laughs> Seems good. He's all set up and ready to go. Looks like uh, Jonathan's holding their classic account siphon. And do you see that behind the account siphon? It's a vamp. A vamp. Oh, He's what a great card these yeah. days. It just shuts down so much nonsense that it does. the corporation could put out. It really does. You just take away their money, and you're feeling good. I think that's awesome. Ooh, nice. Clutch wow. Desperado off the top. Feeling good. This is what he wants to see. And a and Dyson. So Dyson. So we're in it's interesting here. We're going to see what kind of deck this is in the end Yep. that utilizes Dyson. You know, I think Dyson is a totally reasonable call these days. Link really matters. I, yeah, I, I kind of I think I, I agree, agree with you for the most part on that, for sure. Yeah, I mean, the Link definitely can hurt. And out of Criminal, if you're running a rig with any significant amount of programs, uh, you may need that extra MU, and yep. Dyson's is kind of your best bet. So Josh went ahead. He's, he's pushing forward immediately. He, he had a... Uh, a uh, that three one. What is that? A house of knives. The house of knives. He's Man. he just jammed it in there. He said, "Come get it. If you want to right. come get it." And there he goes, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Feeling great. And yes. that is an excellent pull for Jonathan because house of knives could be a real, real bummer. Yeah. Uh, right. He would, <laughs> with Chronos Protocol's identity. I mean, he could have nicked that siphon if he had scored that. Right. It's crazy. That's right. All right. So, Jonathan must be feeling good at this point. He's got a decent setup. Josh, uh, I don't uh, think he's he's totally bumped. I think he's nah. still got room to, to play. Yeah, there's still there's still a lot of game left. He's he's hanging in there. And look how much money also Josh has. Yeah, that's pretty nice for him. Uh, Jonathan definitely eyeing that, but can't really strike until he gets a breaker online. It looks like it's just set up here on Jonathan's side. Just the same old thing. Drawing, mm -hmm. drawing, installing free cards. Oh my gosh! And that uh, cortex lock there could actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. That could end the game right now. Be pretty brutal with the <laughs> amount of MU he's got. Uh, Really nice card. Yeah. Um, definitely a, just a great value for, for any Jinteki player. So if you're Josh, maybe you're going to... So why would he draw here? Is this mandatory or is this click? Uh, I believe that's click one draw. So he has the Jackson. Well, he sh why would he not use the Jackson here? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe he's uh, not wanting to... Uh, waste with the ability of Jackson to shuffle in cards. He really, I mean, I don't think he's in crisis mode uh, no. of, of needing to shuffle stuff away. He has drawn a second agenda now, and now Jackson might become a little more attractive. Uh, yeah, for sure. To get down on that board, but I don't. And, know. and in general, just I think also, uh, you know, just piggybacking off what you said, Josh playing Jinteki automatically is going to strike some fear into Jonathan for making these frivolous runs, right? Absolutely. Every run's got to be calculated and careful. That's right. And particularly with the very directed nature of Jonathan's ability, yeah. uh, at this point, Josh, I think he just needs to bunker up and uh, and make sure that Jonathan can't get that that benefit of credits. So, <laughs> I'm laughing at Jonathan uh, being puzzled by the fact that he's got three siphons, right? Like that's <laughs> that's I think that's what we call a good problem, right? That <laughs> is, you're right. And you know what? He has just decided. He <laughs> I might as well, right? Yeah, might I've as got well. Him. Smoke him if you got him is what he's thinking. Oh, oh. and a Mitsubako. What a that hurts. clutch little that card. Hurts. And 
you know, I think that's a fine res. It gives him information. Uh, if he manages to get a special order out, he can, uh, he can get through that Baco no problem. And it was a good setup. He's got the political operative in hand, so that siphon landing would let him play multiple cards out of his hand. For sure. Free up some space to draw. Oh, oh no! That cortex lock. How much MU does he have? No, that's it. If five that's MU, all five. Five cards. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh. Oh, <sighs> boy. That is crazy. Ouch. So his whole hand totally nuked. <laughs> is well, he going to make the successful run? It's okay. It's okay. Jonathan, breathe. Breathe, Ugh. Jonathan. We you can, can make in. it, man. We can get back into this game. I don't game think anything in his hand was like crazy valuable. I, Just the siphons. I, the siphons, the siphons of were, of course, the, good, but yeah. I don't know if they were timely. He, uh, of course, has the same old thing on the table. Yeah. Oh, and he's going in. Oh, <sighs> Just the Jackson Oh, Howard. boy. I was scared, man. And that's, that's a, isn't that a scary call when your hand goes down to zero and you're like, oh, yeah. do I access? I think that's a really bold run there. I mean, obviously yeah. Cortex Lock, really nasty. But even more commonly, I think a Kamainu there would have been uh, just as brutal, obviously. Same yes. effect. Yeah, would have been just as brutal. Uh, but who knows? Maybe Jonathan at this point decides, uh, you know, I don't really need anything in my hand. I can afford to have the worst happen. Let's see. Wow. So if you're Josh, you got two agendas. You got the Jackson. Mm-hmm. You gonna you gonna Jackson? I think you're gonna throw those away, right? Or maybe yeah. you feel like because he has no hand, his next turn's gonna rebuilding turn to mm. just draw. Him. Well, now at this point, yeah, you might decide to go for a agenda score. A right? bit of a score. It, it kind of, it's a window of sorts. Right. Yeah. I th I think I think this is that window. I think he's got it. I think he can do it. So he's gone for creating another remote, yeah. uh, as opposed to overriding Jackson. You know what? You know what? Would also, been sick. He's got another uh, cortex lock in hand. How mm. sick would it would have been to throw that cortex in, cortex lock in front of that agenda? Oh, so rude. crazy! Oh wow! So now we see what Jonathan is doing. You see that mm. with the keyhole? All right. So this bodes pretty well for Jonathan. Keyhole definitely an extremely strong card against Jinteki shenanigans. Yes. He's feeling pretty decent. Uh, Aiki draw off the top. That is so taxing yep. for any runner. Uh, even with Gordian Blade, it's quite a tax. It is. There you go. And Josh just says, no, he doesn't, he doesn't even waste time <laughs> doing the action. He just said, I'm just going to put it over here on my side. Thanks. The, the best blank agenda in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Brain trust. Brain trust. <laughs> Not to be confused with merger. Which <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> now that I'm costs an influence. That's, yeah, uh, that's a tough one. Uh, All right. Okay, so we're drawn back up. That's pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I think I think I think while that gave uh, Josh that window, I think Jonathan's about to come back up on his feet again. Yep. Um, the NT is there. Yep. NT's nice in combination with same old thing. Definitely opening up uh, the possibility of siphoning his way back into the game. Yep. And not to mention, because the Cortex Lock it, you know, doesn't really do anything if he's using up all his MU slots, mm -hmm. it might be within his best interest to fill that up as fast as he can. That's right. And uh, just begin the keyhole, get those keyhole runs. So interesting situation here. Josh has just drawn a targeted marketing, which in these matchups I found uh, account siphon is a really popular choice for that targeted marketing. But in right. fact, all three siphons are in right. the, <laughs> so the runner's heap. Uh, of course, Jonathan still has access to them through the same old thing, but that becomes a lot less attractive if targeted marketing hits the table. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I think I think... You know, seeing the two same old things on the on the uh, board right now kind of mm. tells us it's it's still available. Mm -hmm. That siphon is still a tool he's got in his uh, you know in his uh, play area. Right. It would not surprise me because actually doesn't Jonathan have NT? I don't know if you can see his hand. Yep, uh, he, he has NT in his hand at the moment. So siphon in a in a turn or two definitely a possibility. Yeah. Um, but who knows? Maybe Jonathan wouldn't mind uh, Josh having a bit more. Uh, Credit-wise, if that means Jonathan getting back into the game economically. Right, right. If you're Josh, do you still do you think you still name account siphon, knowing simple things in play? I think that's probably his best call at this point. You can't be really too sure about the criminal breaker suite. I think there's some variety there, so yeah. naming a breaker is a bit of a risky proposition. Account siphon just either keeps it off the table or guarantees that you get it. I like that. Yeah, 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 for sure. And there it is. Uh, I Can don't hear him? know if we're going to be able to <laughs> let you guys know what, what has been named, but... Siphon probably is a good call, though, right? I, I would imagine that's probably the case. Uh, that's, the, that's that's pretty funny, right? So, <laughs> three siphons in archives, two same old things in play. Yep. Siphon's still probably best call. 
Well, yeah. I mean, it's just so good for Jonathan, uh, combined with his uh, desperado and his ID ability. That economic swing is just great. He also, I saw in hand, has a crash space, which is a really nice wow. way of uh, of getting those tags cleared. And we just got we just got confirmed. Apparently, he did call siphon. So yep. he did he did say he wants to call the siphon out. On the game topic. is afoot. And again, it, it might still be worth doing. Yeah. Just just fire away and. Yeah, yep. Jonathan's in that weird spot where he doesn't have, he doesn't want to give Josh the ten, but he's he's starving, right? right. He needs the money. Yep. Um, maybe he just hasn't. Maybe he just doesn't think it's tag me time yet, but it, it could be worth it. And Josh has already got uh, ice rezzed on centrals, and so for him, his economy, it, it, regardless of how big it is, I think he's in a fine spot. Right. Uh, and Jonathan is the one kind of in the in the hole a little bit economically. So yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll s it'll be interesting to see what they decide. And I, I, I see I see Jonathan's hesitation because he's he's probably basically discuss yep see he's basically discussing yep just what we were talking about there it is NT into siphon and there, there it is go. I think this is necessary at this point yeah uh, I think it's going to sure. do really well for him yeah uh, you got to do it you you have to yep. make sure that you know even if you're going to be tagged you've got the economy to keep your game going it's so important here absolutely so he's going to get his uh, two credits from his ability, one credit from Desperado, and siphon away. There it is. Big old ten. All right. And two tags. Yeah, he's got an Earthrise in hand. Maybe he's fine removing him. Yep, yep. The crash space. Uh, he had a uh, career fair as well, so he can get that stuff back online, no problem. Yeah. Oh, is he? Okay, so he's he's holding the two tags. Mm -hmm. It looked like for a minute he was going to, oh, he is. Wow! Wow! He's 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 telling him right now. This is my game plan. Dang! Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? So he's filled up three of his five MU. I don't know if it's worth just charging through the cortex lock just right. yet. <laughs> uh, but in a few turns, you get a few more programs online. Yeah, that keyhole can be really scary. Yeah. So the question is, what's what's Josh's plan for going forward now? So he's got one agenda in yep. hand. Yep. Some ice. I mean, for me, that keyhole hits, hits the table, and I want to make sure R&D is as safe as possible. Exactly, exactly. With, with targeted marketing, that's going to soften the blow from the next siphon if it comes through. Yep. R&D should probably be the priority here, for sure. And with Aiki and Cortex Lock, I don't know if the second Cortex Lock is going to do all that much, uh, given that you're already playing the MU game, but Aiki, yeah. quality ice. Uh, I would uh, expect something like that on R&D in turn two. Wow, he's thinking about it. Maybe he's considering the Jackson. Yep. Or he's saying, Jonathan has so much money, let's just go ahead and use his medical. Mm. There is also the possibility that uh, since Jonathan is tagged, is it worth trashing the same old thing to oh, yeah. remove the possibility of the Count Siphon coming back? Oh, oh okay. Oh, so he's gone for his ID trigger. Yes. Uh, Gone in for that net damage allows him to choose the card that's going to be damaged away. He's going to get rid of He's going to hit crash. He's going to hit crash. Base. Crash base, definitely well, a lot of good value. Or the, uh, the earth rise, right? Like one of those. Yep, yep. No breakers, unfortunately, for Josh. That would have been really clutch. And actually, maybe that is why Jonathan chose to install the keyhole, potentially prematurely, because he knew You're right. it could get yeah. damaged away. That's a good call. And that was a really good call. one of your game plans just off the table. So Jonathan actually making a really great decision there, mm -hmm. putting it down. That's a good call. I like that. Yeah, that, 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 that definitely, especially if his whole deck is based around that. Yep. He, he just basically just helps. Helped his, you know, his game plan stay on track. That's, that's a good idea. Good call, Jonathan. Good You've done good. <laughs> You've played the Jinteki game, uh, and you psyched him out. And I guess that's the power of Kronos Protocol to yeah. some degree, is really making your hand an unsafe place. Uh, you just want to get stuff out of it as quickly as yeah, possible. It's, yeah, I mean, you, you, you are really in trouble if you do not you know, make sure you're installing things as you need them. Like, Mongoose probably goes uh, down here. Speaking of, that Mongoose, absolutely, I think, needs to hit the table. It'll deal with Cortex Lock, open up the keyhole oh, possibility, man. and uh, definitely save him from For sure. <laughs> future shenanigans. And I think... See, here he goes. I think he's, got about, he's about to pay it to drop it. Drop the goose. And then at that point, we got ourselves a game. The goose is loose. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the goose is loose. The tags are gone. Okay. Okay. I, I think this is fine. Uh, well, and, and plus, it, it, 
he wants to protect the next siphon, right? Like, I mean, yes, it's just probably good. Absolutely. Uh, as well as the Earthrise, uh, which is very necessary at this point, getting those cards in hand. Maybe he can... There's, I mean, there's so many fun, fancy plays on his side, right? It's like, for example, mm -hmm. he could utilize Keyhole, take the agenda first to get rid of the targeted, and yes. then siphon, which so, would be cool. Yes. It looks like we have a play on Josh's side. Uh, install Ice, install card, advance. Uh, we oh. know this is the medical breakthrough. Uh, I think this is a pretty solid scoring window for him. Yeah. Uh, with just Inti online... Uh, the goose, of course, being loose. Uh, <laughs> I, I still don't know if you challenge this as Jonathan. You, you, you certainly could. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a little risky. Yeah, it, it's going to put... Uh, I mean, Jonathan doesn't know this, but that will put Joshua 4, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and he's decided to go for the more surefire oh. route, and that okay. is Keyhole. I don't blame him, man. I don't blame him at all here. And oh, wow. Oh, wow. Not so exactly what you want to see. Um, what goes? Is that a uh, Himitsu Baku, I think? Yep, yep. Uh, Himitsu Baku, Targeted Marketing, and Lotus Field. Honestly, I, I, I it's tough. I, it's a tough choice. I would be um, looking at that Lotus Field personally, uh, not having seen a decoder yet. That can really shut down your keyhole plan. Yeah, I think I think I might I might have gone the Lotus Field, but the target is fine too. I think that yep. it's gaining him a ton of money by protecting its siphon. Absolutely. And uh, having a second one, of course, allows uh, Josh to essentially retarget the choice if uh, he decides the siphons are uh, not the highest priority. Four MU used. Yep. Five max. And Josh decides, of course. There we uh, go. Just score that out. That'll so, through. so this siphon gets really strong here, don't you think? With Josh on six. Well, he'll gain ten though. He'll yes. Gain ten. Now what a tough. That's a sort of a tough call. I don't know what. I don't quite know what I do as the mm. necessary action. I I do think it's a strong line of play. Uh, I think it again. Jonathan is in this state of being on fairly low credits, where his credits are going to matter more yeah. in the game state than uh, than Josh's. So sure. Yeah, Josh making that great call, and yep. it looks like we have siphon. We're back. We're back, boys. We're back, baby. Did you <laughs> Did you have money? I don't know. Did, where to Where to go? Yep. <laughs> where, and in fact, uh, the target <laughs> marketing right guaranteeing that Jonathan will have yeah, some credits yeah. to uh, to steal. Pretty Isn't nice. It, that's an interesting interaction. I mean, mm -hmm. you, he gives him ten, but it guarantees guarantees you're going to yep. have something to siphon. And honestly, these days, just in general, I've been finding account siphon to be less and less useful as a credit denial tool yes. and just as a nice credit boost yes. for the runner. I uh, totally agree. Yeah, corps can just make so enough much. money uh, to keep them afloat. There you go, special order. And that's going to be really nice for Jonathan. It's going to get his, uh, I would imagine, decoder online. So Philip is in you. Oh. oh. And there we go. He's gone with the eater route. Okay. I think this is a great, great choice for him. Right. It's going to allow him to get in for uh, further account siphon action if uh, a same old thing shows up or just, you know, keyhole and, till the cows come home. And, I mean, what's, what's I mean, in addition to that being a, you know, a great, you know, a great choice, you know, for having this keyhole, yep. what's also going to happen is, I mean, now his MU is going to be maxed. Cortex lock is blank. Awesome. It's a blank piece of ice. That's going to be really great for him. So he just runs and pays nothing. And gets the credit from Desperado. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Do you, do you think Josh is going to just slam this in there and go? So I believe he's on, let's see, uh, 11 credits. Yeah. Full MU. Uh, I imagine there's some form of code gate on the remote, perhaps an enigma. I think I spotted that earlier. It's somewhat safe. Uh, yeah, I, if there's a code gate there, I think you. I think Josh can slam that in. Yep. Advance, advance, and just kind of just wait. Wait a minute. Honestly, yeah, I think this is the line of play, and you know why? I, this keyhole is so dangerous right now. I don't know if Josh is going to have a better opportunity. Yeah. This might just so be a Jonathan game. Jonathan would need to get. No, he would need all two pointers to hit to seven. So this yep. is this is going to be scary. So there you go. Finds the one pointer. We'll see if maybe. I mean, he could at the last minute decide he runs over there and checks it. But I think he's going to focus on the keyhole here. Yep, could be uh, a future perfect hiding in there. That would be uh, somewhat of a solution to his predicament. But yeah, tough spot. Very close. Wow. I mean, this is going to be. I mean, this is this. 
I don't know what Jonathan thinks that, that oh. card over there is. Oh, and he yeah. whiffed. Big whiff on the keyhole there. Unfortunate. Uh, not what Jonathan's wanting to see. No, not at all. Uh, only two clicks remaining. And at this point, are you desperate enough to just ram into that remote and see if you can get by? I think you have to, right? At, at, at four. Yep. Because you don't know what he's running. So at four, I think you just have to go in. I think you have to go check it. It's so tough. It could be damage, but I don't know. Yeah. And I think that's what he's decided to do. Uh, yeah. And I think it's a good Josh. Oh. oh. That quandary, though. Stopped by us. Oh, goodness. That's Even rough. More rough. It's rough. Man, the uh, criminal uh, weakness uh, yep. really is code gates, particularly on remotes. Yeah. And uh, we see me. here a great example of that. Just really bummed. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Jonathan uh, decides that last keyhole there. Maybe it isn't a three pointer. Maybe he has a chance. Man, oh, still another whiff. Not that's just, again. That's rough. Yeah. So since we're here at the end of the game, though, power shut down? Yeah, that is, a, uh, is a, a cool little include there. What's the plan there? I imagine it's not uh, for combo. Uh, I don't think we've seen enough pieces or influence for any sort of combo. But yeah. I think Power Shutdown is a neat little card. It plays with that uh, that interplay we were talking about earlier where the ID forces the cards on the table, and then Power Shutdown gets them off the table. Yeah. Uh, so there huh. you go. And there you have it. He wow. Sl he slammed it in, said advance, advance, and said come edit. Chronos Protocol. Yeah. Doing work. Who knew? Who knew that, uh, huh. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if the ID itself uh, triggering had that much of an impact, but right. I would have to say that the, the threat. Yeah, I think for sure. really put things in a, a place where Jonathan mm -hmm. had to rush, had yep. to, to get things on the board, and just try his best. And you called it. I think, I think that, I think, Normally, under most other circumstances, he would not have installed that keyhole when he did. I think yep. usually you want to install it and then use it immediately. Absolutely. And I think that that ID forced him to, you know, put his cards on the table and say, "Hey, this is what I, this is my plan." You see it now, right? And so that's, that's really very strong. Yeah. Very nice game. 